Hello everyone, in this tutorial video, I'm going to explain the associative array of the PHP programming language, including these three related functions. But before that, please support this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hit also the notification bell so that you will be notified with all the new videos that I'm going to upload in this channel. And so in associative array, you store the value using a key. That's why it's called key value pair. It's always like this. So whenever you want to assign a value to a certain element of an array, so you need a key and then you can assign the value. So it's like numeric array. However, in numeric array, you use integer value or numeric value to assign the value on a certain element. Again, if you will recall a numeric array, so it is something like this. So there are elements, in this case, four elements like this. This is your array. It has four elements and each element have an index address starting from zero and then followed by one and so on. But here in associative array, instead of numeric address you use a key and this key is enclosed in double quotation marks as you can see here in our example here in line 17 i have here an array which is x so the key that i'm going to use here for instance is mike the, followed by sam and then tim and then ashton so in numeric array these are numbers but here in associative array, it's a key and close in double quotes. It could be a series of characters such as Mike or it could be a number also and close in double quotes. And then followed by the value, equal and then the value. So this is how we assign or this is how we create an associative array in PHP. So this is one way of creating it. Then there is another way of creating it is something like this so you define the variable x and then it followed by equal and then array open parenthesis and then the first element so this is the first element so mike and then followed by equal greater than sign and then followed by the value 90. so this one is similar to line 17. so again this one here is similar to line 17. So, because there are two ways to create an associative array. Line 13 or something like this. Line 17, 18, 19, and 20. So, line 13 is just one liner of codes for declaring an array, associative array. Okay? So, the second element here is sum. The key is sum and the value is 80. So, take note again. This is the value. This is the key. This is how you create an associative array. So in this case, we have four elements. This is the third one. This is the fourth one. So each element, if you will use this syntax here, so you have to separate each element by comma, as you can see here in this example. Or like I said a while ago, you can also use something like this line 17, 18, 19, and 20, wherein you assign the variable x with the key of mic and a value of 90. So automatically, this is the first element. And then the second element, third element, fourth element. So something like this. So these are the two ways on how to create an associative array. Now, the next thing here is how do we access the value? So to access the value, it's like line 22. So you just have to say the array name and then inside square brackets will be the name of the key. So it's like that. So it's like, again, numeric array. So something like if you would like to access 
90. I want to print 90, so I'm just going to say echo dollar $x$ 0. So this is numeric array. So again, if you would like to know more about numeric array, you may visit this channel and watch the tutorial about numeric array so that you will have a better understanding of the numeric array. So if we go back now to our topic, so this is how you display a value in associative array. So just mention the key. Okay, so something like this. So if we will run this program now, you will have this output. 90 will be printed because we said in line 22 echo dollar x mic. Okay, so we can also use since the values are numbers, so we can also compute if we wish to. Let's say for example, I would like to add the value of mic and Ashton the key mic and the key Ashton so I'm just going to say something like this echo because these are numbers so I can just say I would just like to add and so therefore I'm going to say something like this so we are expecting now to have I'm just going to say here BR to move to the next line and then print the sum of these two numbers here so if we run now there you go so 90 plus 75 is 165 now if you wish to get only the values and only the keys like for example here values 90 80 85 and 75 or if you wish to access only the keys like for example here mike sam tim and ashton then we need a function that will do that for us. So in PHP, there is what we call array values here, this one here. So this PHP function will allow you to get only the values of an associative array and assign those in a numeric array. So numeric array is also involved here if you will use array values. This means that if I will use this array values function, what it will do is that it will get only the values and it will store these values in a numeric array. So something like that. Okay. So if we will have an example of that, so something like this in line 26. So I will create a variable $b and then I'm going to use now the function equal array values $x. Again, $x is our associative array. And so it's going to be like this. So what will happen is that all the values of associative array $x will now go to $b, which will become a numeric array. So something like this. No? So let's try to print $b now. So I'm going to use the print R. The printr is a PHP function again okay, that can be used to print or display the contents of a variable. So in this case, we would like to show the contents of $b which is an array. And so if we try to save this and run it now, let us try to run it. And so there you go. Okay, so array 0, 90 because it's numeric array. No? Starting from here, I did, not, I did not use BR here. That's why it went on to the same line. So as you can see here, we are printing line 29, dollar, dollar $B in line 29. And so the first element is 0. The second element, which is 1, the address is 1, is 80. These are the values. No? So the third value, which is 85, is here. And the fourth is 75, which is on the fourth element with an address of 3 because they became numeric array. Okay, so therefore, I can now print, if I want to print now the first element of the dollar $B, I can just simply say echo, let's say, uh, let's have a BR first so that it will go to the next line and then I can say here dollar $B. Okay, I'm going to print 85 
So the 85 or the value 85 is on element address number 2 as you can see here. So it's 2. So 85. So if we will print now, I'm going to save first. If we will print now, there you go. That's the 85. That is line 30. Okay, so as simple as that. If we can get the values only of an associative array, we can also get the keys like Mike, Sam, Tim, and Ashton. So in order for us to do that, we need another function and that is what we call array keys. So this function is used to get the keys, all the keys of an associative array and these keys will be assigned to a numeric array. So we have an example here, this one here, line 27. Dollar $A is equal to array keys dollar $X. So dollar $X is our associative array. And so if I wanted now to print the values of dollar $A, dollar $A became a numeric array. So like this. Okay, so if we will try to run this one now, I'm going to save and run it now. Refresh. There you go. So only the keys will be retrieved and will be assigned in a numeric array. In this case, the numeric array is dollar $A. So that's how these two functions are working, array values and array keys. Also, that is how we use the associative array of the PHP programming language. I hope you have learned something new in this tutorial video. Thank you very much for watching and see you on my next one.